imagine a pain-free way to test your blood sugar levels? Well, get this. A grade 11 pupil from Bryanston High School has done just that. Ritik Mita has been awarded the Top Scientist Award at the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. He's developed a non-invasive blood glucose level monitoring system. Part of the prize was a laptop and a partial scholarship by this university's Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment. Let's speak to the young genius now. Very good morning, Ritik. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. A huge well done to you. But what is the aim of this project exactly? So the aim of this project that's titled the non-invasive glucose level monitoring is to be able to measure the blood glucose within the human body without having to actually extract blood using something such as a needle or a lancet because that has many negative impacts such mm. as it's often an inconvenience. Um, so you see, it, it's an inconvenience. Sometimes it's painful and it also increases the risk of infection. So what I wanted to do was create a technique of measuring blood glucose levels that would eliminate all those problems. And the best way to do that was to do so non-invasively. Yeah. So, so tell me about how you, the work that you had to put in. I believe you had to develop certain prototypes. So tell me about the work that you had to, to put in to create this. Yeah, so when it comes to developing medical prototypes, you have to try your best to get to that clinical accuracy that's mm. required by... Um, like organizations such as the FDA, which uh, ensure that these devices are up to standard to be tested or to be used by the public. So uh, at this point in time, I'm still in my testing stage and I'm still performing multiple trials on um, artificial blood solutions, for example. Yeah. So for the past few months, I've been developing these solutions and developing these prototypes. And as I test them, I continue to modify them and improve the accuracy each time. So at this stage, I'm still in the process of creating a final prototype, yeah. but uh, the progress is currently looking very good. So, so then what's the plan with it going forward? Once you're done and you've managed to complete your research and the project, are you hoping that it can actually be implemented and used in the future? I'm doing my best to make the prototype feasible so that in yeah. the future it can actually be sold on the markets. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. yeah, continue. Uh, and furthermore... Uh, I am hoping that this could one day substitute for the in invasive Lancet test. Okay. Because if that could be done, then, um, well, that would be quite amazing because then we completely eliminate the need to have to ever prick the human finger, for example, to extract mm. blood. Yeah. And we can further extend this to measuring even other sub substances beyond glucose, whether it be the uh, fat concentration in the blood or what whatever, it, whatever else it may be. Any type of substance in the blood could be measured without having to invasively mm. prick the body in any way. Yeah, I mean, who would say no to something less invasive? So that's really an incredible idea, and I think it would be really great if that can be implemented in the future. But you also won a partial scholarship to this university. I know you just completed yeah. grade 11. Any idea what you're going to be studying? Um, I'd like to go into studying physics and applied math in university. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to work towards... Uh, a degree in astrophysics, since I have quite a passion for astronomy. Mm -hmm. And I might also go into studying uh, business, uh, since I was, I'm also keen on looking forward uh, to entering entrepreneurship, because entrepreneurship gives you the opportunity to actually implement these in innovative ideas so mm -hmm. that you can actually help society. Yeah. Now, you sound like someone that can absolutely do it all, so I say go for it. And then just very lastly, last year you won um, an Intel Award in the USA. Talk to me about that award. What was that for? So last year, I was still working on a renewable energy project where I attempted to improve the efficiency of solar panels. Um, I managed to do this successfully, and as a result, I got to go to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair that was held in America, in Phoenix. Uh, at that at this fair, I won an award in sustainable development in the water and energy category uh, for my for managing to improve the efficiency of my prototypes. And I must admit, it was a very phenomenal experience meeting so many like-minded people, mm. getting to know more about their research. It was amazing. Yeah, no, it sounds absolutely incredible. And just very, very finally from me, what next then in terms of this, this non-invasive blood glucose level monitoring project? What is the next step from here? Well, you see, when it comes to science and engineering, there's always more that can be done. 
So this stage, although I'm reaching uh, very good accuracies, there's always improvements that can be made, whether it's making it more cost effective or more accurate, more um, accountable for patients to use. So at this stage, I'm going to resume working on my prototypes into next year and just, um, I'll see how far I can get. And hopefully by the end of next year, I'll have a fully working prototype. Thank you very much. Ritik Mita, very well done once again, and we will be keeping a close eye on you.